Well today I'm going to tear down this Daikin fan motor and see what's inside. Today on the mini workbench we've got a Daikin fan and this was uh, this is a DC motor and it was replacement went into our air conditioner and I'm just very curious about what's inside if anything there's probably some nice bearings the motor in fact had failed and uh, and you can test that by checking out the uh, resistances uh, there's a particular test sequence that you can do that I can say um, but let's open this up I'll just get a screwdriver you know, this Stanley set that I've had a few years so many years that the uh, clips are starting to break not sure what I'll do about that okay this one I think will fit in there nicely do you know what? try the largest one Yes, fits in. All right, keep your hand away. And I'm just going to rotate this in in the slot, just see whether there's any movement at all. There was a little bit of movement, but I think I'm chipping also out the plastic. So this may be completely destructive and unsuccessful. What I don't want to do is put a screwdriver through my fingers. Yeah, that one's not opening. The next step is to maybe, it's quite a magnet there, maybe try tapping it. I might have to remove these motor mounts so I can access that there. I might need to put this in the in the vise. Maybe difficult to clamp that in the vise. Nice rubber mounts. Might use those in a project somewhere. I think this is going to be an easy job to get this apart. If we can leave it the front, get under it there. Got no idea of the correct way of opening this, and I think, well, that was feeling feeling like it's moving. Well, let's just persist with the front cover. Yeah, that looks good. Uh huh. Oh nice, let's take that rubber seal off, front cover, compression washer, nice bearing, there's our motor, look at that, and there's some electronics behind. So I believe this is a, what they call it, a center, center, um, oh boy there's powerful magnets center spinning DC motor not quite as much torque as the ones with the outside casing spins but that's what's inside it that I guess is a hefty magnet the main thing I probably want out of this is uh, those bearings Six o, I think it's a six o nine, six o eight. Can't quite read it. Thailand. Pins beautifully. I like that shaft. I wonder what we could use that for. Yeah, we've got some experiments going. What size shaft that is. Let's do some measurements. Seven point nine seven. Do we call that eight millimeter shaft? Or is that some sort of imperial size? Wouldn't be made in Thailand. 
0.313 of an inch 0.794 millimeters outer diameter outer diameter 22 that's a familiar size 8 millimeters and 22 millimeters play in those bearings so there are 60 608z I think it is could be 609 608 definitely the Z refers to just a the Z refers just to a metal shield, non-sealed. If it was RS or 2RS, it'd be it'd be metal shield. So that's actually, I think, skateboard bearing size. Seven seven millimeters wide, eight millimeter shaft, and uh, 22 outside. Oh well, that's fascinating. That's a, if that's a strong magnet, we could make something out of that. Feel enormously strong, but when you drop it in there, it really pulls it in. Well, I learned something about that motor just by pulling it apart. Well, thanks for watching.